For behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, do take away from Jerusalem and from from Judah the stay and the staff, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water, the mighty men and the man of war, the judge and the prophet and the prudent and the ancient, the captain of fifty and the honorable man and the counselor and the cunning artificer and the eloquent orator. And I will give children to be their princes and babes shall rule over them. And the people shall be oppressed and every one by another and every one by its neighbor. The child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient and the base against the honorable. That's where we are right now. Where the youth, because they don't understand, they have never witnessed what a traditional love and family looks like. The child behave themselves proudly against the, they have no respect for the, for the aged adults anymore. Why? Because they don't have anything or, 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 or anything to really draw from, to understand it, that value. They don't even know what a grandfather looks like, let alone, you know, sponged, sponged any level of wisdom from a man. And all this so that everyone can be independent and now do what I want to do or just long as my life is good, regardless. No, it was about having some level of mentorship in place. And the base against the honorable. When a man shall take hold of his brother. Of the house of his father, saying. Thou hast clothing, be thou our ruler. And let this ruin be under thy hand. So what's coming is so bad, brothers and sisters. You're going to have men going to other men of means saying, I'll work for you. I'll work for you. Do you have clothing? Do you have shelter? Men are going to be coming to other people with means for protection. That's how hard it's going to get on our people. In that day shall we, he swear saying, I will not be a healer for in mine house is neither bread nor clothing. Make me not a ruler of the people. So you're going to have men turning other men away stating, I really only have enough for my people. It's going to be a famine where men are going to have to turn other men away who's willing to work and say, well, listen, brother, all due respect. We told you to prepare a long time ago. We only have enough for the people in house. Eight for Jerusalem is ruined. Jerusalem is speaking about our people, folks. And Judah is fallen because their tongue, their doings are against the Lord to provoke the eyes of his glory. The show of their continents do witness against them. And they declare their sin as Sodom. The most high is going to allow hell to come on our community because we have, we are, we've be, we become the poster boy for Sodom and Gomorrah. They hide it not. That means our, our men are flamboyantly celebrating Sodomite behavior. And, and, and don't even and, and, and don't even realize the shame that comes with it. The most High says it's not that you're just doing it. You won't even hide it. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him. So the, to those who want to do right, the most High says, tell them. Tell them it's going to be okay for them. Because they have an inclination to understand the time, the times we're living in prophetically. For they shall eat the fruits of their doings. Those who understand that we're at the end are preparing. And through that preparation, we'll be able to eat at the end of this. Woe unto the wicked, though. It shall be ill with him for the reward of his hand shall be given him. As for my people, 
children are their oppressors. That's right, folks. You got young children carrying guns in the neighborhood, threatening the, that, that adults, grown men are afraid of. And what? And women rule over them. Women live. See? But a man who understands his worth and understand his role, according to the Bible, could never have a child or, or a child scare them or a woman rule over them. Oh, my people. Oh, my people. This is what God is saying. Oh, my people. They which lead thee cause thee to err. Your preachers have become panderous. They're only saying what they want you to hear. They're only saying what they know you want to hear. And destroy the way of thy paths. Like the preacher we showed you last week, who instead of growing food on his land, claiming that new birth, whoever they are, new Satan's birth, all the land they have, they're not going to grow food for the homeless. They want to grow marijuana to continually delude and destroy our communities. That's your, pa your pastors. The Lord standeth up to plead and standeth to judge the people. The Lord will enter into his judgment with the ancients of his people and the princes for you have eaten up the vineyard. The spoil of the poor is in your houses. So it goes into the fall of man. And then in the fourth chapter, hold up, check this out. Then it goes into the women. Moreover, the Lord, because of the daughters of Zion, are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes. That means you're walking as if you're better than the men. I got this and I got that. I'm boss. I, I got. Listen, no, you got what's, what a functional adult is supposed to have. But God is saying, because you think you're better than the men. Walking and mincing as they go. When they say mincing, walking and switching, right? And making a tinkling with their feet. Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. And the Lord will discover your secret places. He says, you know what? Because you're too proud, I'll take you here. Because the Bible states it's a shame for a woman to be bald. I'll take you here. The here is your beauty. The here is your covering. He did it so that the woman can humble herself fast and pray and eventually shave her head and mourn by ripping her, her clothes in sackcloth to do what? To grow her hair back. As, as she strengthens in beauty. She strengthened in the spirit of God or a virtuous woman. So that she can say, look, I, I really take it all off and grow it and, and new and, and, and cherish my crown. She would do that in the spirit of humility and grow her hair out in appreciation for the most high forgiving her. But instead of doing that, instead of written her cloth and, and knowing that she's wrong, like, no, I'll just cover it and walk and mince and become more proud, more hearty. I'll just cover my hair with others hair. Instead of dealing with the realization, what, of the judgment God had placed upon me. Why did God give all these other women certain types of hair and I got to struggle with my hair? It's because of what's in me. It's because I don't want to be right with my man. I don't want to be right with men. So the Most High says, you know what? I'm going to confiscate that until you respect the man I pulled you out of. When you begin to honor him, your glory will come back. Your hair will come back because you'll begin to love yourself inside out and it will show with your crown.
18. In that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of your tinkling ornaments about your feet. And their cause and their round tires like moon. Talking about the big earrings we used to wear coming up. Y'all remember those 80 and 90 earrings, those big moon earrings? That's how you know it's talking about us. The Most High says he's going to take those big moon earrings away. The chains and the bracelets and the mufflers, the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs, the headbands and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and the nose jewels. And every man know when they see women with nose jewels, they know in this world right now, that's a telltale signal. With those nose jewels. A man knows what he's getting with a woman like that. And that woman isn't a wife. And I'm saying that lightly. I'm saying that I'm saying that which is which which is uh, which with as much tact as I can. It's like that's signaling. If a woman has a tongue ring, that's triple, that's quadruple signal, a uh, 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 sig signaling. The changeable suits of apparel, the mantles, the wimples, and the crispin pins, the glasses and the fine linen and the hoods and the veils. It shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. Right? I don't even got to go there. This is what happens eventually when stuff starts breaking down and you don't have access to, to, to hygienical cleansing like you once did. And instead of a girdle, because a woman used to have what? An hourglass shape. She had nothing to do with keeping that shape. A child couldn't take that shape away. Instead of a girdle, a rent, the most high said, what? You know what he did? He said, you're too proud. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go inside you and I'm going to rent the girdle. I put in I, I, the, the natural girdle I had for all women. It was a time where a woman would keep her shape regardless of children. And the most high ripped it. Okay. I'm taking your shape away. Okay. Because you're using your natural beauty and have weaponized it against the men I, I've taken you out of. You've, you've allowed Satan to convince women who came out of man that they're better than the men they came out of. The Bible. Is it hard to understand? When it comes to reading the Bible, the first thing that comes to mind is the fact that this is the word of God. The seals have been broken and the truth is here. And when we go throughout the scriptures, when we go throughout extra biblical records, we find that the language that God employed, that he used to create the heavens and the earth was the Hebrew language. Christ said, I came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But yet no one, no religious leader, no religious church out there anywhere can now identify the 12 tribes of Israel. Can we? God is quite simple, but it seems as if man makes understanding him hard. What are those mysteries? The truth of your book. And the truth will make you free. The Hebrew and Bible Academy, you're invited.